you guys, it's your girl T. So I have this really disturbing story that's coming from Michigan. This story is insane. So this story is about a 16 year old girl and basically she faked a pregnancy for 10 months. This girl claimed that she was having triplets and she basically fooled an entire community, an online community into getting money, gifts, donations and everything else where she told people that she was pregnant with triplets and then the triplets never came. And then when the family caught the police, they started investigating her and they found out everything was a fraud. The girl was able to perpetuate this lie um, by this website called fakeababy.com. I didn't even realize that this type of website even existed, but it does exist. You can get a fake belly, you can get fake ultrasounds, fake pregnancy tests. This whole situation is such a mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Jean announces she is pregnant with triplets, sharing the big news with family, friends, even strangers who wanted to help. Uh, but more than nine months later and still no babies, some were suspicious. Fox News' Karen Asher live in Wyandotte where the team has fessed up to the bogus baby bump. Taryn? Yeah, still a lot of questions here. It's hard to believe that this 16-year-old was able to fake this pregnancy of triplets for so long. She faked it for 10 months, we're told, and was able to do it by a disturbing website called fakeababy.com. I was excited, don't get me wrong, but I was scared. At just 16 years old, Jordan was preparing for his entire life to change. Last October, his 16-year-old girlfriend from Wyandotte told him she was pregnant with triplets. I started looking for jobs as the best I could. I was kind of ready to donate all my time. I was happy eventually, but not in the beginning. I mean... That's my son. Eventually, the family embraced the pregnancy and started preparing for the births. As the months passed, gifts for the babies started pouring in. A church in Taylor, a nonprofit in Dearborn, and a Facebook group that she joined called Mom of Triplets all donated to the young family. And last May, relatives even threw a baby shower for the expectant mother, who already named her three babies. Oh my God, she got tons of help. She got the gifts you they couldn't even open at the shower there was so much no one questioned anything at first her belly appeared to be growing there were even ultrasound pictures when do you notice that things aren't quite right when i couldn't find the doctor and he could never go to the doctors with her or anything like that slowly the 16 year old story began to unravel and her due date was fast approaching for about 10 months 10 months i mean she would have had the baby by then that's what I thought would too, but she gave me the story of micro preemies and how her doctor felt that time would have been better in there than time in an incubator. An Ohio woman in the Facebook group, Mom of Triplets, figured out the ultrasound pictures were fake and contacted the family who discovered they were the same pictures from a website called fakeababy.com. Down to baby A, baby B, baby C, the placements of the babies, they're the exact same. You can put them side by side and the only difference you're going to see is that she used a fake doctor that does not exist. She put my nephew's name on the ultrasound, which you cannot do. We're told the expectant mother lied until the very end. Last week, the day before her C-section, she claimed she lost the babies, but refused to go to the doctor. That's when Jordan's aunt called the authorities, who are now investigating. So I told the hotline, you know, she has three babies that she's supposed to be full term with, and she won't go to the hospital, and they don't have heartbeats. So they sent detectives over there, and she finally cracked and told detectives that she lost them at six weeks. She basically took all of the people's donations, fooled people for months. I mean, were you in on it? The 16 year old refused to come to the door. Her brother later admitting to us off camera what happened, claiming only she knew the truth. She lost the baby at six weeks and uh, she didn't tell anybody. She was scared, mm -hmm. didn't know what to do. All the donations that were taken are being returned. I don't think anybody should have to go through that and all of this over a website called fakeababy.com. The website needs to be off the air. It, it needs to be out. Because if she can do it that easy, anybody else can. Now some question if this girl was even pregnant to begin with and no way to verify that at this point. Now the family says there were a lot of red flags. They asked a lot of questions, but she seemed to have an answer for any for everything. Um, things only became clear in retrospect, really. We talked to Wyandotte Police tonight. They tell me they are investigating. You know, not only is what she did wrong, it could be criminal as well because she took those gifts and those donations, thousands of dollars worth. So police are going to be looking into it. We're live in Wyandotte tonight. Taryn Ash Fox 2 News, back to you. Well, Taryn, I had no idea a website like this even existed. Did the boyfriend 
no at any point, and it's kind of hard to imagine that the girl's mother, that her parents had no idea. Well, yes, and the website is disturbing. That's why they want it taken down. That's why they're also doing this story. Jordan is coming forward because he wants people to know he knew nothing about this. He was duped just like so many other people. He's obviously troubled by this as well. Now, you have to wonder, why didn't the parents know? She was underage. She was 16. She did not have a driver's license. How was she getting to those alleged doctor's appointments? And you would think a mother of a 16-year-old or a father of a 16-year-old would know uh, what was going on. So were they possibly in on it? That's what police are also going to have to look into. Monica, back to you. Yeah, still a lot of questions in this case. Thanks. Tara. Oh, yeah. All right, so you guys just watched that news clip. First of all, I'm not buying nobody's story in that entire news clip. The reason that this story even got out is because a lot of people on that um, Facebook group, they started getting really, really wary of that teenage girl, and they're the ones who initially led the investigation. There's more information on the website on um, where the news story is. So they're the ones who kind of like were tipping police off to the entire story because somebody recognized that the ultrasound had the same babies on there. I don't for a minute feel like this family just didn't know. First of all, if the 16-year-old boy is in a relationship with his girlfriend, um, they've already been having sex, so what's gonna stop them from continuing to have sex because she's pregnant? So you mean tell me that you were sleeping with this girl off and on for damn near 10 months and you didn't see a difference in the belly you didn't see anything they're saying that she didn't allow him to go to the doctor's visits and everything else but i'm sure y'all was still having sex and when you're pregnant and when you're pregnant with triplets you're definitely going to show a lot early so even if she cut him off let's say you know three months into the pregnancy at some point in time she's going to show i also love how they're blurring out her face how they're not using her name and they're claiming it's because she's a teenager but let this be a black teen her name her face and everything else will be blasted off all through social media, all through the blogs, and out through the news stations. I love how they're also blurring out his face. I don't feel like any of these people are victims. I feel like they were all in on this. There's no way in hell that this charade could go on for this long and nobody know anything. They're saying that the family came together to throw her a baby shower and she got so many gifts at this baby shower that she couldn't even open them. You know, to me, this is disgusting. I find it funny that this whole family can come together to celebrate this teen being pregnant with triplets, but let her be trying to do something good with her life she won't have no support. She won't have no back end. For the life of me, I just don't buy this story. I don't buy that nobody knew. I don't buy that this bride was ever pregnant. She supposedly lost the baby at six weeks. I feel like they all were involved in this story. I feel like they all concocted this. Why? Because as you guys know, I was a teen mom. And there's no way in hell that this went on this long and the parents weren't aware, the uncles, the brothers, the sisters, and all that bullshit were not aware. When I went to the doctors, I went to the clinic to go find out I was pregnant. <laughs> this was like the craziest day of my life so I go to the little clinic in the neighborhood and you know literally the lady tells me like you know what it's no longer about you you know it's about that baby inside of you but you are pregnant and I'm like what are you kidding me like I mean I was crying I was like just so in shock and I'm just like dang like what am I gonna do like it's like it was like the worst feeling you know what I'm saying when you're you know 18 like you, you know you're still a kid like it was just like the worst feeling at that time and so my whole plan was I'm not gonna tell my mom I'm not gonna tell my dad I'm just gonna you know hide my pregnancy that was like my grand scheme of my plan and I'm calling my then you know baby's father you know who would later on became my husband and I'm like you know I don't know what to do and he's like we're just gonna hide the pregnancy and all this other shit and literally a week later, like not even a week, like three days later, my mom gets a letter in the mail and it's a letter from the clinic like, yeah, your teenage daughter is pregnant. So that's the thing. So I thought that I could hide my pregnancy for like months and months. And literally three days later, my mom gets a letter in the mail and she calls me and she's like, what? You're pregnant. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? Like, how does she know? And I'm looking at him like she found out. He was like, what? How does she know? And I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. She was like, you're a liar. I got the letter from the clinic. So I'm thinking back to when I got pregnant and how soon my mom found out. So I just don't believe that this girl is pregnant at 16 years old, still in high school, pregnant with triplets nonetheless, and no clinic called her mother, no clinic sent a letter, you know what I'm saying? Like, they literally busted me out to my mom, you know what I'm saying? So, it, and then at that point in time, we had to just deal with everything as a family. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's scary, it's life-changing, it's hard, and, you know, it's not easy. If I was to do it over, people ask me all the time, like, would you have had your son so young? And you know what? Honestly, I would. Like, I don't regret it. You know, I'm a good mom. Me and my son get along well. I understand I was young, you know, when I had him, but my son has never gone without. He's never wanted for anything, and he's a good kid. So, it's like, you know, I've done a good job thus far, and I'm going to continue to do a good job. But 
but it's not easy being a parent so i just don't understand you know why this girl would put on this charade and this young boy needs to be happy that this fucking nutcase who could sit here and fake an entire pregnancy at the age of 16 not even fake one pregnancy but to lie and say that she was pregnant with three babies he needs to be relieved if he's if he's not in on this then he needs to be relieved that he's not the father of these you know imaginary triplets because that's a huge responsibility for any teenager you know it's not easy you need your family support you know you need you know people around you to help you with your kids and you know I was blessed to have like my mother-in-law my sister-in-law like you know what I'm saying like I wasn't one of those teenagers who like really had to miss out on too much you know like there were times yes I had to be home with my baby but I was still able to like go to school and you know just do stuff so I didn't miss out like on a whole lot but yeah I definitely had to be responsible for my son but you know I still got help you know and I could still hang out with my friends and all that stuff so you know we all literally like raised my oldest son like they really helped me and you know then eventually once I got old enough once I was 21 moved away from home and that's when I left Minnesota and I moved to North Carolina and we lived there for 10 years and then it was more or less on us and you know so it was a lot harder then because we didn't have our family but you know long story short it's not easy being a teen parent it's not easy raising children you know she really needs to get her life I don't understand for the life of me why anyone, especially a young person, would want to fake a pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's not easy being a teen parent. So I just find her, you know, I just find her story just crazy. And the fact that this website is even around, the fact that there's a website called fakeababy.com. You know, this is just insane. This is just doing nothing but breeding psychopaths who are who are sitting here faking pregnancies and then possibly going out and you know trying to steal babies or kill a woman to try and take her baby out of her. You know, we've had situations like this happen. You know. Know, just last year a woman um, I forgot what state it took place in had her baby ripped out her uterus you know she almost died and the baby ended up dying you know so this is just really really crazy that they would have a website like this for these psychopath women like I said I feel like this whole entire family was in on this charade and now that the police are investigating and this girl could be charged with a lot of serious crimes because she did do people out of money gifts and everything else I think now that the families now I feel like both families are trying to back and distance themselves away from this situation and make everything fall on this girl but I honestly believe that everybody knew that this girl was not pregnant so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment how do you guys feel about this story now you guys believe in this trailer trash family that nobody knew that this girl was faking her pregnancy but yet and still all these people had no problem receiving all these gifts and throwing her baby showers and everything else let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t and you can show me some love by watching my previous videos don't forget to like rate comment and share and also don't forget to follow me on social media and check out lovelytea.com where you can support my channel by purchasing a coffee mug or a t-shirt Talk to y'all later. Deuces.